Hi, this is going to be a demonstration of the different ways of reasoning about the number of lines of code, I guess I'll call it for lack of a better term in a code base. So the one you're probably familiar with is the number of physical lines of code in a file. So if you have a class that starts on line 20 and goes to line 120, you say, this class is 100 lines of code. Everybody is probably familiar with that. A lot of uh, IDEs and editors will even show you that information in line. So that's pretty easy to come by. But I want to talk a little bit about that today and then also about a couple of other ways of reasoning about the number of lines of code in a code base, so to speak. So we get one of these in Visual Studio here and then Endepend will give you access to two other ones. And if you're really interested in kind of digging into and analyzing code bases, this is valuable information because these different flavors of lines of code metric have different uses in different situations. So what I've got open here is the chess TDD series that I do for my blog. Um, well, I don't have open the series. I have open the solution that I use in the series. Um, it is a good one to use, I think, because it is complex enough to be non-trivial, but not so big and complicated with code that it's hard to find things. So I'm going to use this um, for the demonstration and for future demonstrations. And I believe I already, if you see this uh, seconds to comprehend uh, a method that was in an earlier post in this end-to-pend metrics series um, that I showed without a video, I showed how to um, create this particular um, code query. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to open up this board coordinate class, which is a very simple class. And... Um, what you'll notice is that um, there is this, uh, I think it's a feature of Visual Studio Premium, maybe? I'm not really sure. Uh, this is ultimate. Um, what you can do here is have this little visual next to each method, and you get to pick. Do you want it to be the maintenance complexity, which is some, I think, proprietary Microsoft metric? Um, maybe it's not proprietary. I don't know, but it's a Microsoft metric. Then you have line count and cyclomatic complexity. Um, what I'm interested in here is line count. So it's four for each of these because um, 26, 27, 28, 29, it's literally four lines of code in the file. And if you go up to one that's a little different here, there's one more line of code as compared to the rest of these methods. Um, so you get five. So this is very straightforward. It's just telling you in your methods how many lines of code do they occupy, how many actual line breaks are there. Um, so that's the simplest one. I'm going to move on here and I'm going to use endepend to give us a little bit more insight. What I'm going to do is go in the queries in rules explorer and, and say create a query. And that pops me into this um, editor where to do create a short description corresponds to this um, uh, name XML doc com comment, which you'll see in a second here when I save it is actually going to be what's used here to uh, give this a title. So I am going to call this um, lines of code in board coordinate because I want to um, use CQ link to get us focused on um, the board coordinate class itself rather than having to go digging through every method in the code base. Now you'll see down here I was successful. I, I hit control S to save. So lines of code and board coordinate is now a, a query that I have in here in my, uh, my metrics section. But there's a syntax error because I just have this from and nothing else. What I actually want to do here, and I, I, um, I personally prefer to use the uh, link semantics um, when I'm building these. Uh, you know, your mileage may vary, but that's what you'll generally see me doing. So in just my code, I want to select methods, and I want to say methods where the method is um, part of the board coordinate class. Oops, the parent type is named like board coordinate because what I don't want to do is go digging through uh, every method in the code base to find what we're interested in. So from the board coordinate methods, I want to select the method and then also the methods number of lines of code. 
Oops. Ah, help to spell board coordinate right. And there they come up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and bring it over here where the Solution Explorer is so you can see these side by side. And so here we have is coordinate valid for board size, which you can see is four lines of physical code in the IDE. And it's coming up as one line of logical code. And in fact, every method in this class, with the exception of a constructor, is coming up as one line of logical code. And that looks about right. And here's our constructor, again, with the, um, with the second line of code. So instead of uh, five physical lines of code, this is two logical lines of code. So you can see where it's omitting the method signatures, it's omitting the curly braces, and just giving you the actual logical instructions that are happening. Now let's take a look at the third form, which is going to be this um, number of IL instructions. And let's see what that looks like. So I'm just gonna add it right in line here. Number of, oops, I get the instruction, the uh, IntelliSense, I should say. Number of IL instructions. Now that paints sort of an interesting picture. So you can see that this varies a lot more the constructor up here um, has only eight IL instructions. And I say only eight. I mean, that seems like a lot for two relatively simple assignments. But then you have um, one logical line of code instead of two. And it's corresponding to 17. Now, I guess that sort of makes sense because this is calling two other methods in this class. Um, so you see some interesting trends here. The simplest ones are, are these guys here, where it's just um, comparing a class field to a property of this uh, struct that's getting passed in. Um, and then you see this relatively complicated method, which makes sense in terms of the IL instructions, because you're doing a couple of absolute value operations, subtraction, and then comparison, as opposed to just comparison. So it's not entirely surprising some of the things we're seeing here, but I think what's interesting is just how many IL instructions get generated. Now, um, IL instructions is an interesting thing to measure because it's going to be an equalizer across different types of code. Um, I can compile Visual Basic and C Sharp and C++ all down to the same IL and then compare code in, in those particular languages. Um, but, you know, I, I don't know... In all cases, if you're not doing that, it's a little complex because you're relying on the compiler to um, figure out and, and do some of this. Well, you're relying on the compiler and you would rely on your knowledge of what the compiler is doing for that to be meaningful, um, unless maybe you're just kind of doing some raw comparisons. So there are situations where that is useful. There are situations where logical lines of code are useful. And then, of course, there are situations where the actual physical number of lines in the code base is going to be useful to you. So it's nice to have options if you're getting serious about doing some static code analysis. Um, so hopefully that gives you not just an overview of what these different types of consideration of lines of code are, but how to actually get at the two that are non-trivial, so to speak, by using end-depend.